Hey guys, welcome to this knowledge sharing session. Today we will talk about bidirectional forwarding detection protocol. My name is Anil Kumar Dandu from Cisco Hitus Technical Support Team. Hi guys, my name is Sora and I work for Cisco Hitus Technical Support Group. Today we will together walk you through BFT protocol overview. Let us start with the agenda of the session. In agenda of bidirectional forwarding detection protocol. We will start with BFD protocol overview, how BFD works on Cisco routers. We will walk through BFD configuration steps between two Cisco IOS routers, BFD configuration steps between two Cisco IOS XR routers and also have a look at BFD configuration steps between Cisco IOS and XR routers. Then finally, we will conclude this session with troubleshooting steps for BFD protocol issues. Let's start with BFD protocol overview. With networks carrying more and more real-time traffic these days, speedy network convergence is a must. And for speedy network convergence to happen, failure detection between adjacent routers must happen as quickly as possible. In typical network designs, the detection of network failure consumes most of the convergence time budget. So faster the failure detection, faster is your network convergence. By failure detection, we mean detection of transmission link failure or hardware failures over which other end router is connected. And based on failure detection results, routing protocols react quickly to use alternate paths. Traditionally, network failure detection was relied upon hello messages exchanged between routing protocols, but their failure detection time runs into seconds. For example, OSP of fast hello configuration can detect failure at best within one second. So, even with OSPF fast hellos, sub-second failure detection is not possible, which is critical for many real-time applications like voice and video. In many network designs, network failure detection is left to transmission technology used to connect to routers. For example, Sonet HDH links has inherent mechanisms for speedy detection of transmission link failures or connecting hardware failure thereby sending messages across to signal failure based on which routers react and select alternate paths. But this facility is not available for all transmission technologies like Ethernet, which recently is becoming more and more popular as a transmission method of choice. To address these issues, Bidirectional Forwarding Detection Protocol, acronym as BFD, was developed. BFD is a lightweight UDP-based protocol that provides very fast detection of layer 3 next hop failures. BFD can be used in place of routing protocol timers as a fast and reliable failure detection mechanism. Main goal of BFD is to provide failure detection in millisecond range and most importantly to act as a single method of liveness detection between nodes irrespective of the media type and routing protocol they run between them and additionally offer a wide range of failure detection timers to meet various network design criteria. Another advantage of BFD is on distributed platforms. BFD packets can be processed on interface modules of the line card hardware, whereas routing protocol hello packets are processed by the control plane. As BFD packets are processed at line card hardware, it is less CPU intensive. Here, we can see in the diagram below that BFD packets are processed at the forwarding plane in the hardware, while routing protocol hello packets needs to be processed by RPCPU. BFD provides detection of faults even on interfaces that do not support failure detection of any kind, such as Ethernet, virtual circuits, tunnels, MPLS label switch paths. In a nutshell, BFD provides fast peer failure detection independent of all media types, topologies and routing protocols by sending rapid failure detection notices to the routing protocols and initiating routing table recalculation process, BFD reduces overall network convergence time. Now my colleague Saurav will take you through how BFD works on Cisco IOS routers and on XR routers. Now let's understand how BFD works. BFD does not have a discovery mechanism. Sessions must be explicitly configured between endpoints. In order for a BFD sessions to be created, you must configure BFD on both routers. BFD can be configured to operate in one of the two modes, asynchronous mode and demand mode. Cisco supports asynchronous mode of operation in its implementation of BFD protocol, where routers periodically sends 
BFT control packets to activate and maintain BFT neighborship session between them. Configuring BFT is a simple two-step process. First step is to configure BFT timers on the interfaces on which you want to use BFT. And second step is to configure routing protocol to use a BFT. Once a BFT session has been established and timer negotiations are complete, BFT control packets act in the same manner as an IGP hello protocol to detect liveliness, but at a more faster rate. Let's have a relook at this. When the routing protocol discovers a neighbor, it sends a request to the BFT process to register routing protocol as a client. BFD control packets, which are used to establish the BFD neighborship session and negotiate the BFD timers. After neighborship session establishment, BFD control packets acts as keep alive to maintain BFD neighborship session. When the BFD neighborship session is turned down, BFT process rapidly notifies to the registered routing protocol client and then routing protocol tears down its neighborship. If an alternative path exists, routing protocol immediately converges. Configuration steps for implementing BFT between two IOS routers. On IOS router, first step is doing interface level BFT configuration. And second step is to configure routing protocol to use BFT for failure detection by registering as BFT clients. Now let's have a look of BFT configuration and verification on live routers. We have two IOS routers on the screen, router 1 and router 2. As the first step of configuration, I have enabled BFT config on interface Ethernet 0 slash 1 on router 1 and interface Ethernet 0 slash 1 on router 2. Now, between these two IOS routers, we will configure OSPF and BGPS clients for BFT. On IOS router, under OSPF routing process, you can enable BFT all interface command or alternatively, you can enable or disable BFT for OSPF on per interface basis with interface level command IP OSPF BFT. For configuring VGPS client for BFT protocol in iOS, fall over BFT command for the neighbor is required under BGP routing process. We can verify BFT neighborship with command show BFT neighbor and show BFT neighbor detail on iOS router. Configuration steps for implementing BFT between two XR routers. In XR, unlike iOS, there is no interface level configuration required. Only step for BFT configuration in iOS router is to configure routing protocol process to use BFT for failure detection by registering as BFT clients. Let's have a look at this on live routers. We have two XR routers on the screen. On left hand side of the screen, we have a XR router 1 and on right hand side of the screen, we have XR router 2. On both router 1 and router 2, you can see there is no interface BFD configuration. As in XR BFD implementation, BFD is only configured under routing process. Now, between these two XR routers, we will configure OSPF and BGP as clients for BFD. On XR router 1 and 2, under OSPF routing process, you can enable BFT under area config to enable BFT for all interfaces belonging to that area or under a specific interface under area config as we can see on the screen. For configuring BGP as client for BFT protocol, we need to use same BFT commands as we used for OSPF earlier but under a specific neighbor command. In XR, we can verify BFD neighborship with command show BFD session and show BFD session detail command for registered client details. Now my colleague Anil will take you through BFD configuration between iOS and XR router and conclude with BFD troubleshooting. Now let me take you through configuration steps for implementing BFD for failure detection between iOS and XR router. In XR BFD implementation, we configure BFD only under dynamic routing protocol. That is, in XR there is no interface level BFD configuration. While in iOS, we need to configure BFD at interface level as well as under routing protocol level. Now, let us see configuration on live router. 
On left hand side, we have an iOS router where we can see I have enabled BFD configs on interface gig 2 slash 0 slash 1. While on the right hand side, we have an XR router with interface gig 0 slash 5 0 slash 5 on which there is no BFD configuration is done. Hence, in first step, BFD interface config is required only on iOS router and not on XR router. Now between iOS and XR router, we will configure OSPF and BGP as clients for BFD. On iOS router, under OSPF routing process, you need to enable BFD all dash interface command or alternatively you can enable or disable BFD for OSPF on per interface basis with interface level command IP OSPF BFD. While on XR side, under OSPF routing process, you can enable BFD under area config to enable BFD for all interfaces belonging to that area or under specific interface under area config as we can see on the screen. Similarly, we can see required BFD configuration commands to enable BGP as a client for iOS and XR router. For both iOS and XR, it is with neighbor command, but syntax is different. On iOS router, we can verify BFD neighborship with command show BFD neighbor and show BFD neighbor detail command. While on XR router, we need to run show BFD session command and show BFD session detail command. Now coming to the last part of this session, BFD troubleshooting. Common problems encountered or reported with BFD implementation in production network are BFD session not coming up, BFD session is flapping. First and foremost step before starting to troubleshoot BFD issue is to verify IP connectivity between two BFD peering nodes. Then verify the configuration on both ends and make sure you are not filtering BFD packets. For BFD flapping issues, especially make sure your telco links are clean and your BFD timer values are safely higher than max latency experience on the transmission link. Show BFD neighbor detail on iOS and show BFD session detail command in XR helps in verifying BFD packet statistics at RP and LC level based on platform also verifying register clients info. There are few common traces and show tech commands recommended to be captured in iOS and XR nodes such as show monitor event trace BFD in iOS, show BFD trace, show tech routing BFD in XR. We can also run some BFD debug commands for further details of BFD packets, errors and event to assist in troubleshooting. I hope you find this session informative and thank you for watching. If you have any feedback or comments for us, please leave them in the comment section below.